you guys, I just feel like talking about the Corpus Callosum. It's very cool. So, historically, I actually bought a old neuroanatomy book off the internet for about $10. It's from 1920. And back then, the guy just said it has no functional significance and doesn't do anything. They, apparently, they just thought it holds things together, but it doesn't have any physiological significance. I couldn't be more far from the truth. It's made out of white matter. It is what connects each hemisphere. It's absolutely vital for a healthy brain. And when we get into disconnection syndromes and damage to it, it's catastrophic typically. So it connects each hemisphere. Um, it's made out of a big old thing of axons, about 200 to 250 million. It is a sexually dimorphic structure. Um, again, it's seen in pathology and this is seen in things you wouldn't even expect. For example, let's talk about the four basic parts of it to start. Um, here's the rostrum, right here. The most anterior part is the genu, for example, in clinical depression. It's actually, it seems to be smaller and is affecting activity in the PFC. It's just affecting information flow and things aren't transferring as they should be, apparently. Um, here's the body, and then the splenium right here. If you haven't looked it up already, I highly recommend you look up the uh, way they treated refractory severe epilepsy in the 50s. They didn't know its physiological significance. As a result, they cut it. It stopped the epilepsy, but it just really more than anything, it was an experiment in consciousness that showed consciousness can be divided by a scalpel almost like it's an illusion in the first place, or very well it's not. But um, it's almost like we're all split brain patients because 100 billion neurons plus glia, only 200 to 250 million axons here. It's like we're all split brain patients just a little bit. Crazy. Okay, thanks guys.